Welcome to Pagan Crafting. I'm your host, Kara. Today we're going to make some simple mountain and tree paintings on some wood slice cookies. These simple mountains and very simple trees are going to be easy to paint. I'm going to show you three of these six different wood slice art pieces and then you yourself can change up your own colors and however you wish to do them. So join me today and let's have some fun. Starting off with two wood cookies. They are about three and a half, four inches. I've already sketched on some loose drawn mountains. Using pencil is cool. If you use a, a liner, you may bleed in when to use the acrylic or acrylic colors coming in. Starting off with this gorgeous royal purple. Feathering it down and now what I do is I don't clean off my brush. I keep the same colors and I keep working it down. Stamping the colors where they overlap. And I like to keep a little bit of an edge around this one. The two different styles that we're going to play with today. And again, I didn't clean out my brush. I'm just keeping the purple that's on there already. And once I dip into the pink and then it helps blend it out. I like using a chisel brush for going around the mountains because it gives a quite a sharper line and I can draw in lines around the edges. Again, starting off with some beautiful royal purple. And I'm keeping the purple on the brush as I'm mixing in with now the cobalt blue. And this gives a beautiful effect. At the very most, I may take off some of the excess paint on my paper towel. but I still haven't rinsed it out with any water yet. So again, same blending technique. Now I'm gonna bring in some lighter blues mixed in with some white and just stamping in the color, working the color in ever so softly. Now with this one, I'm going to paint right to the edge, just make it go by faster. And because I'm doing a different look, so I'm going to go right to the edges because I'm going to bring in some trees on this one like you're looking up into the trees. I got some beautiful magenta that I faded into this orange into kind of a golden, golden yellow, but then I dipped in some white and... Uh, over top of the yellow and I found it too much so I went back to the gold. So now taking a liner brush after all those have dried I'm going to be lining in my mountain lines that I did in with pencil. If you'd like to keep some fine lines it's good to keep dipping as you go. So keep a, 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 a good healthy amount of paint at the end of the paintbrush and pull the paint not push the paint and these will get you some super fine lines this wound up being a very good brush i was able to not have to dip as often but then you don't run out and you don't get some lines that don't match up I'm trying a different paintbrush here, a bit of a longer, longer taper to it. And I think I wound up switching back. Yeah, it wound up blobbing out. I want to be in not the brush I needed for this. So I went back to that nice little 
blue little taper number that I had. And I was able to run with this one a little bit better. Now I do have this sped up, but I am taking my time. And these little trees don't need to be perfect. Either these four long ones. Just draw four lines and just bring it on down. They can be some fat spruces or some skinny cedars. See, they can just look at the wrist. It doesn't need to be anything too perfect. These are just a, a minimalistic type of painting that it looks, they look sharp on their own. It doesn't have to be super detailed. Now this one here, I keep turning it around each time. I don't want to get the trees too straight because I want it a view as if you're looking up into the trees, looking up into the sky. And I'm trying to do some trees at different lengths here, but I wound up getting at this point, I realized they were too much the same size. After I forgot to tape it, uh, record it, tape it, how old am I? Uh, record it. Uh, I wound up thickening up some trees, doubling up some trees, and then I added some stars and some shooting stars which I will show you at the end of this here in just a moment. So I wound up thickening up the trees and adding some goodies to it. That just takes a matter of minutes to do. And then a little black fade along the bottom. It gives it a more of a dense look. And if you have any mistakes, it's a good way to clean it all up. Woohoo! Done. Now you can color these in white or black, or you can draw lines, or you can leave them as is. And here we have it. I added some stars. I just took a gel pen. Did some little stars, add some shooting stars, and I think that finished it off quite nicely. Thickened up the trees, as you can see here. I think that turned out a little bit better. I added some little stars here as well, and four shooting stars. And with the purple-pink number, again, I have, well, I have about five shooting stars there. I think this one's my favorite for the mountains scape. Well, thank you so very much for chilling out with me today. I've just been painting up a storm and I just thought I'd just throw these out there, give you some ideas. You can drill some holes in the top and make them into ornaments or give them as is. Fun, easy beginner painting. Go forth and have some fun. Anyway, have yourself an absolutely magical day.